What we keep forgetting is, you know, as a country uh, formed on slavery, colonialism, genocide, white supremacy, we keep looking at these sectors and assuming women should vote gender, right? V women should vote progressive. And yet women, white women, are voting whiteness. And it's why we cannot move, we can't put, move the needle unless we're addressing the issue of race and how deeply it still informs the political narrative. So it's not country. so much a problem with white women as our expectations of white women. Is that right, Erin? Yeah, I mean, we can't keep making the assumption that, as Carla said, folks are going to vote along lines, you know, a more oppressed identity. We see time over time that whiteness tends to be the thing that people choose over and over again. And we should say this is not new. I mean, this was finally like the straw that said, okay, we have to do a show about this. But this has been true of white women, I think, going back to the early 90s. Certainly From, white voters. Um, well, it's, it's about whiteness, not just white women. And in that sense, Laura, we go all the way back to the founding of the country. Well, there you go. Yeah. All right, so now make it more complicated for me because the statistics themselves are more compu um, complicated. Right. It right. wasn't all white women. Right. Um, I, I, break it down for me. Well, I think that broad brush, it's helpful not to paint all white women with that broad brush. It doesn't help us develop some of the strategies that we need to go forward. And in terms of these urgent times, it's, it's, it's maybe a little privileged to talk about progress, but also this, there is some progress in some of those statistics. And that 3%, if we can shift things, even 3%, that has a huge impact on this country and who, who leads in terms of policy. 3% of what? 3%, if we, like when you think of 3%, 53% of white women voting for Trump. Uh -huh. Some polls say 52, 53, yeah. whatever, okay. Uh so if, what would it take to just shift that below you know, at that level, yeah. not that, not that um, it's about voting just in and of itself, but the way those statistics are showing. All right, so it has shifted for some people. I mean, white women who are not married, white women who are younger, white women who are LGBTQ, yep. um, white right. women who are Jewish. Yep. Right. They seem to have their heads screwed on. Yeah, and I think, Laura, you're, uh, you're heading exactly where we think that we need to be um, a setting strategy is instead of the broad brush, we need to look at which white women have the strongest basis to see that an agenda that serves racial justice, gender justice, et cetera, can serve them too.